Now, I know that, that there's been some calls from the Congress people, Ileana Ross Layton and the Diaz Balar brothers here in Miami, were calling for acts of civil disobedience in, in Cuba. Do those sort of calls, do they have much resonance when the Miami Cuban politicians speak? Do, do, does that really stir things up much in Cuba, or do the Cuban folks such as yourself, the other dissidents, do not really listen to what's going on in Miami as much? Well, in the first place, people here uh, listen to Radio Marti, but of course, uh, it's not it's such a wide audience and, uh, audience, and sometimes it is, it depends on the jam. But uh, regarding this uh, Cuban Americans uh, in Congress and Senate, uh, they have to know better what is uh, going on in Cuba. They have to know that this, this is in the Cuba they left or they, their parents left in, in the 50s. And we are very, very uh, grateful for uh, Cuban Americans that would like the best for uh, us. But we Cubans are the ones who have to decide inside the island what should be done and what, how we can react because we are the ones that live it and that uh, are suffering the consequences. That's for one thing, and I think that they can help, uh, Cubans uh, living anywhere can help a lot, but please let us decide what we need, because, and come and help us, but don't be, like, for instance, saying that now they want to have a, a new uh, a bill in the American co uh, Congress for, uh, to, to give money to the opposition, it, it really, because it, uh, now it has been... Uh, 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 approved, but uh, it, it is banned to send to, uh, for Cubans to receive money from the government of the United States. So now some Congress, uh, people from the Congress are, are saying that they want to change this. No, my God, we don't want American money. We need it, but we don't want it because that's what the government uses to say that we're mercenaries and we haven't received that money and we're going to jail. Please, let us work let us live and help us but listening to us listening to what we really need all right miriam miriam leva one of the leading dissidents in cuba speaking to us live from havana this morning here on the jim defeaty show miriam I, I appreciate you taking the time to, to be with us just lastly i just want to ask it, you know with this transfer of power to raul do you see or do you sense that there's going to be any change any difference in cuba right now well, he's a more pragmatic man, and he knows, as everybody in Cuba knows, that if he doesn't bring about changes, this uh, he'll have to, to impose a, 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 a real persecution against the population because the people are suffering very much. Because nobody can speak, there is, this society is based in fear, in, in repression, and because people are suffering from the lack of everything. All right, again, Miriam Leva, one of the leading dissidents in Cuba, talking to us here on the Jim Defeaty Show. Miriam, thank you very much. Stay safe, and hopefully we can check back for, with you from time to time. I think the more we hear from people like yourself directly there, the better it is for us here in the United States.